Hey guys, so that de-stashing that I did last week, there were a couple of boxes that didn't sell. So what I did is I repackaged them and brought the price down on um, some things. So I am going to share that now. Plus I um, did some further cleaning in my craft room, so there's some more stuff that um, I'm de-stashing as well. So I'm going to have this time around seven lots, and let's just get into it because I want to get through this really quickly. So these are the planner stamps. Calling this lot one. This is going to be $13 shipped. And it is going to include these stamps. They're like icon stamps for your planner. These small stamps right here. All of these are like planner size. These. These. Uh, this one rolled roller stamp by Dear Lizzie. And again, I have my magnet attached to the back because I had mine hanging on a Rascog. So this is the Dear Lizzie rotary phrase stamp. And there are, I can hold on to it. There are the sentiments. And then I have these from Dollar Tree. There are the sentiments on here. Okay, so that's planner stamps lot number one, 13 shipped. Lot number two is again another planner lot, and this is going to be $13 shipped. Now getting everything back in here is the challenge because I crammed these as much as I could because <laughs> I just want this out of my craft room, you know? So this one includes that planner from the Target Dollar Spot, Bullseye Spot, whatever they're calling it. Um, it has this clear page and then it has all the blank pages in here with the uh, tabbed dividers. So there's a month in review, and then there is a weekly view. Okay? So just so you can see how thick that is on its own right there. And then I just threw some of these list pads in here to fatten up the folder so that it just lays flat. This notepad right here. Okay, so there's that. These. These are a whole bunch of just handmade uh, paper clips. My own embellishments that I've made. There's some with ribbons tied, um, just bows, hearts, just all kinds of things that... Um, or handmade. These are a bunch of, I'm not going to go through each, in, each individual one, um, these are the magnetic page markers and I don't know, there's about 10 in here, 10 or so different patterns in here, but there are those. There's just this little bit that's left over from the post-it um, notes. This and this. Alright, so that was lot two. $13 shipped. Oh boy. Okay. I'll have to wait. Uh, lot three. Planner lot. $13 shipped. It's going to include these American Craft stickers. They're like a clear, thick acetate. It's going to include this um, Chevy Chic journal. That's what the pages look like. This list pad. This um, Mambi sticker. There's all the different patterns. That's the number on the book. This list pad. List pad, these Agenda 52 post-its, 
Um, another list pad. This is from 2017. Again, I just bought these for the fold uh, list pads that's on here that's enclosed. Um, this Project Life, Becky Higgins. Um, these are chipboard stickers. So there's those, uh, those, and those. And then this sticker set from Recollections. <coughs> this notepad from Dollar Tree. These tape runners from Michaels. This one is um, Take Me Away with balloons on it. And then this is just uh, multicolored rainbow arrows. Um, and then a Dollar Tree um, tassel. All right, that was lot 313 ship. Lot four, $13 shipped. Boy, this is the one that's gonna be hard to get back in. Oh, I'm sorry, that lot that I just showed you, um, this tassel um, was also included. Sorry. <laughs> That was in the other one, lot three. Okay, lot four, 13 shipped. <sighs> I was trying to keep everything kind of organized. That's just not working. Okay, so there's this journal, hardbound journal. Just plain rolled. The Studio Calico die cuts, and there are all the designs in that. Another list pad, post-it notes from Michaels. This is another um, sticker book from Mambi. This is the number, but there are some that are, um, and there's all the patterns, but there are some that have been used out of this, so just do a really quick flip through so you can see ah just skipped a whole bunch of them darn it okay these uh, banners another List pads, this Dollar Tree Paisley set, this Recollections Post-its, uh, Seven Gypsies, tags, um, these planner charms from Hobby Lobby, another sticker, um, Post-it, more Post-its from Target, A couple of tassels. I just thought it went with that planner. So these, this tassel and this paperclip tassel. These roller stamps. This one is a workout one and important. These post-its. These mermaid clips from Joanne. These foam stickers from Hobby Lobby, more Hobby Lobby stickers, again Hobby Lobby, and some more Canvas Corp tags right here. And I'm throwing this in, I got this um, garland, tassel garland um, from Walmart, and I was just going to use the black and white tassels and the orange for Halloween. I was going to use it on my planner, but I have, didn't have any time to do any um, planning this month, so I'm throwing that in here as well. So, that was lot number four, $13 shipped. Lot five. Lot five is the dies. Are the dies? Listen to my great English. Seventeen shipped. And I just put this in for extra security. Now this time, what I did. Okay, so first you're getting this Jen Long um, fold along card, the donut, the pineapple. I even have it on the um, 
magnetic sheets there. <clears throat> and this Sizzix one. The Spellbinders um, Gilded Life Royal Medallions. And that's what you get right there. Pretty set. This one from Ally. And this time what I did is I cut out. Now, these are connected. I did not, you know, I didn't separate them. So they're still connected. So when I did my cuts, just to show you what this looks like, it's going to have notches in here. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So this is what that die looks like. So I embossed it, and you can see the embossing in this as well. So it's got like a stitched um, inner circle. And these notches right here are because this is still put together. <laughs> so you won't have the notches on this when you, um, when you separate these circles out. But I did want to just show you what these look like cut out because it's a really cool die got like a box pleat look to it. it just goes all the way around and you have a cute little frame minus the notches and the same for this, this is the next size down and then this is the actual center part right here so that's how that cuts out and again from Ally this die right here is seven dollars so just for this one die so I think this is a good deal on these dies okay so there's that one and then um, you get this dope the this is a bow die and the um, jingle bell with the bow on the top this is the shadow um, background the outer shadow and then the inside bow and I'll show you that so right there is the bow cut out so you have the shadow back layer piece in the back and then the um, actual piece that has the emboss I embossed it too so you can see the embossing hopefully that it leaves and then there is the cute little jingle bell I only did it in one color you could do the bow in a separate color I was just cutting it just so you could see what it looks like okay that is lot 517 shipped. Lot 6 are trims. This is going to be $18 shipped. Okay, this is going to include this confetti um, tassel trim. Um, and you have to cut the bottom piece off here. There's a string that's attaching all this together. So you do have to cut that off to see, you know, the tassel, have the tassel. I'm not explaining this very well, but <laughs> this is the top piece right here. This is your top piece. You just cut at the bottom here that string to let it loose and unfray it and then this just these little pieces just all hang down and it's this fun little confetti um, trim and this is two yards two yards of that um, and there is this ruffled pom-pom trim right here and there's two yards of this really pretty okay then I have these pom-pom trims right here in these different colors so it comes in white mint pink um, coral cream red gray black and yellow one yard of each then there's a yard each of this um, plastic trim right here. So we've got it in gold, silver, and then this floral. Then there's this trim right here. This is this is under a yard, so do, 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 do. yeah, it's about six inches shy of a yard. But that's what that looks like. Then there are these two. I just left it on the little spool there. 
so I don't know how much is there. There's quite a bit of that. Um, and maybe a little over a yard of this dangle one right here. This is dangle trim and then this one. And then there's this rhinestone trim on this box pleat. I don't know how much is on there too. It's got to be well over a yard though. Feels like it. This little flower trim right here. This um, sequin trim. So this is strung sequin and it is taped on both ends um, so that none of the sequins fall off. But it's a flat um, white, this iridescent um, pink, this mermaid green, mer or mermaid purple, the orange, and the iridescent white. A yard of each of that. Um, this trim right here, and I believe this was from Trezor's Deluxe when I was on the design team. So this is just some of the trim I had left over. Very pretty. And then there is this trim as well. Again, beautiful. Um, I believe that's right at just under a yard of this. Very pretty. Okay, so that was the trim lot again. $18 ship, lot number six. Lot number seven. Ugh. Lot number seven is 12 by 12 papers and the Carpe Diem planner. This is going to be $40 shipped. And this one's crammed in here too, so. <clears throat> now i got to go through this quick. I really didn't want this video to be this long. I'll just start here at the top. So I have stuff thrown in here in the center just to... Um, you know, keep it where it stays, where it doesn't get bowed or anything. But this is the Carpe Diem planner right here. Beautiful planner. I just love this. And uh, there is no filling in this. So you just get the little plastic pouch and this, I just left this little notebook in here. But that is what it looks like right there. There's also a little top up here. And the Bow Bunny, um, this is the Bow Bunny Somewhere in Time 6x6 paper pad. Very steampunk looking. I'm just doing a really quick flip through, you guys. It's got corsets. and Anyway, there's the patterns right there. Then I have this... Ah. Um, uh, can't read. Penny Emporium 6x6 as well. Again, just another steampunk one. There's patterns there. The sticker sheet, this is um, We Are Memory Keepers Urban Chic. Those stickers. Go with this Carpe Diem um, planner. I do have the Carpe Diem 12 by 12 paper pad. This is really cool. There's just tons of cut aparts in this and coordinating papers. I love this one with the, well, right there with the clouds on it. Oh, cute. Super cute. This matches the, uh, cover and then it just repeats the pattern so you get two of each pattern very nice pad and to go with that I have the matching coordinating um, brads and then um, all these little um, cards and a few little die cuts right here but there are all the cards right there Okay, then I have this Hot Buy Antique Street. I don't believe any of the papers in this have been used. Just, again, just going to do a very quick flip. If you want to check out this pad, I'm sure somebody 
on YouTube did a more thorough review of this paper pad. Antique Street. Rose Quartz. This was not a hot buy pad. This is um, by DCWV. Double sided paper. That rose gold. So pretty. Cut apart. This is Rose Quartz. And then I have this paper collection from Do Crafts, Paper Mania. This one is called Freshly Cut Flowers. I'm not going to open it up. There are 16 designs in this, and there's 32 to the pack. So two of each pattern, and I'm just going to show you the patterns right here. This is just a sample of one of them. Very pretty paper in here. Beautiful. Um, and then you get the coordinating um, decoupage pack. So there are four sheets in here. Let me just show you the back so you can see what you get. So there's two sheets and then there are um, pieces that you put together to make dimensional um, embellishments that coordinate with this. And there's the sticker pack. Really pretty floral set here. The thickers. Uh, the resin flowers. There are 75 piece stickers in here. There are the patterns. And then the matching bows. These are so pretty. There's 12 um, ribbon bows in here. And I'm sorry, you're hearing my neighbors outside because I had my windows open. Okay, so that. Where was that? Where was I? Lot number seven. $40 shipped. And then the last lot is going to be all Valentine Day. So this is $18 shipped and this is lot 18, the Valentine's Day lot. And I don't know how I'm going to get this back in here because <laughs> this one is cram full. So go through this super quick you guys. Just hit the pause button if you want to see anything. It's that felt um, envelope from the Target Bullseye Spot. Some Michael's cupcakes that are felt. Some uh, foam cupcakes. These dimensional um, hearts. These pop up. These cute little stickers. I think these are from Dollar Tree last year. Um, these little cute little envelopes with the little heart seals. These stickers. Jolie's Boutique. More Dollar Tree stickers. Some more cute little envelopes with the little seals, heart seals. These dimensional stickers from Michaels, Target Bullseye Spot, Recollections. This is Michaels. I did use a couple of these. These stickers, tags from Target, these little arrows from Target, um, these acrylic tags, Target, more Target. Dollar Tree, Target, um, these are all Dollar Tree stickers, and then these foam stickers from Michaels, I just threw these in, those are like wood hearts, that's all I have left of that pack, these cute little cupcakes, they are felt, these cute little clothespins that you can put on Happy Mail. These cute little shaker hearts. The chalkboard gift tags that are hearts. 
these cute little emoji hearts. Those are adorable. I said too much. These cute little heart um, clothespins that you can shush up any way you want from Walmart. Another little Target dollar spot. This little bling. They're like little, all these little gems or hearts that form the pattern. These stickers. They'll definitely be set for Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's Heart Dangle from Dollar Tree. I think this is from Joann's. Felt stickers. That's all I have left of this um, dimensional sticker pack from Michaels. These paper clips. And these felt stickers right here. All right, you guys, so that was the V-Day lot number eight, $18 shipped. All right, leave your PayPal email address down below in the comment section with the lot number that you want. And if it's available, I will send you an invoice. Um, please pay promptly. Um, and this will go out in the mail the next day after you pay. And um, U.S. only, PayPal only, and I think that's it. If you have any questions, um, well, there shouldn't be any questions. It's pretty straightforward. So, anyway, I'll see you guys later.